Hello everyone, I am the host of the YouTube channel Wang Yiba Inc. Sub. Nice to meet you again. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the hottest news of the day. And here's today's news. Wang Yiba appeared on the cover of a Japanese magazine again, three times in a row, this time it was Bailey Hongyi. Wang Yibo is now on the cover of Japanese Pops for the third time. Asian Pops magazine number 157. Wang Yibo will appear on the cover of the magazine as Bailey Hongyi in The Wind Rises in the Woyang for all magazine audiences. Actually, this is not the first time Wang Yibo has received this honor. Bailey Hongyi corresponds to magazine number 157. Before that, the cover of the magazine number 156 was Wang Yibo's Ji Sheng Kong in accompanying you to the top of the world. The cover of the magazine number 155 is Xie Yunan Yufei. This magazine is still quite prestigious in Japan. Almost all the top artists in the Hong Kong entertainment circle who were able to be on the cover of this magazine back then. There are very few mainland artists. Although with the development of self, media and other industries, the print magazine industry has also suffered a lot. The influence in recent years cannot be compared with that of the past. But it is still a very influential presence in Japan. And Wang Yibo was able to appear in this magazine for three consecutive issues. It is also a recognition of his strength. Ji Sheng Kong, Xie Yun, Bailey Hong Yi, all of these characters are carefully created by Wang Yibo. It was broadcasted and released in China but it was able to be exported to Japan and seen by more people. It is also a blessing for Wang Yibo to carry out a good cultural output. Because of a Chen Cheng Ling, Wang Yibo not only exploded in the country, but also, and it went out of the country together with the works and was well known to the world. Then, accompanied by the cultural output of his other works, even if it is a drama before becoming famous, accompany you to the top of the world is still introduced by Japan, show them the Chinese Z sports culture and promote the spirit of teamwork. Yufei shows the world of martial arts, there is pleasure and enmity, and there is the righteousness of chivalry. This time, Bailey Hongyi, who appeared on the cover, but it is the most attentive drama of the three dramas. It's not that the other two dramas are bad, but it's understandable. Accompanying you to the top of the world is a mango self, made drama with limited funds. At that time, Wang Nebo was also unknown. Not very mature in all aspects of acting. And Yufei is still being filmed. It was searched because of the script problem, which is really inconsistent with the original. And The Wind Rises in Luo Yang is an original work by Ma Boy Ong. Before there were novels, there were TV dramas, and all the filming was done with the power of Luo Yang. The emphasis is on promoting the prosperous Luo Yang cultural city. In the play, whether it is architecture, clothing, gestures, all of them are fine, none of them are bad. It can be said. The Wind Rises in Luo Yang is really the ultimate in promoting the culture of the Chinese nation. People can be immersed in the scene and feel the glory of the Tang Dynasty. I believe that Japan is still very touched by the Tang culture. Bailey Hongyi's appearance on the cover of the magazine is not only an identification of this role, the recognition of this drama is more for Wang Yibo. Although Wang Yibo is a member of GQ The Zoo, T Magazine, Hongshu, Harper's Bazaar. Almost all the first, line magazines in China have been published over and over again. Even the sales of magazines are the highest among artists in the circle, but being able to be on the cover of a foreign magazine is also a recognition of his overseas influence. After all, in the current era of self, media, magazines also have to survive. If you knew that the magazine couldn't sell, why would you choose to put him on the cover? From Xie Yun, to Ji Sheng Kong, to Bailey Hong Yi, there are three magazines in a row. All of them are Wang Yibo. It can only be said that Wang Yibo is really the guarantee of the magazine's sales.